It's quite a few months ago now that I started agonizing about where I'm going to poop when I moved to the farm and started investigating composting toilets and what was available and I discovered that um, some of them use chemicals but really they quite expensive and maybe not what I was looking for so I made the decision to try and build my own but I haven't actually built anything myself I did used to flip houses in the past but I had tradesmen to do the work so I started looking online for DIY composting toilets and then I found a design that I liked and I got out my little book and tried to draw a plan of what I wanted it to look like and I tried to work out measurements and measuring the toilet I've got here, the flush toilet, what size would the frame have to be um yeah did a lot of thinking a lot of measuring a lot of maths i'm not too sure how accurate that all is but when i finished with the planning i was very excited and as you can see it doesn't take much to get me excited went to the hardware store and I bought some wood and um, this is just going to be for the frame for this composting toilet so I have decided that seeing that I'm going to have to learn how to build things I may as well practice and start on a composting toilet so yeah I've got these pieces of wood. I had them cut it down a little bit so that I could fit it into the back of my van. And I will be measuring them out. I've been trying to make a plan for this toilet. But because I don't have any tools, I have bought this drill. It's like a drill driver set. It comes with a little bag. And apparently I get a three year guarantee anywhere in the EU so I must just register it online um, I decided to go with Ry Ryobi even though you get uh, much cheaper brands because in New Zealand I had all Ryobi tools and I was quite pleased with them um, yeah bought some screws and the whole drill bit set and then I also bought a jigsaw so I'm going to have to cut a hole eventually in the ply where I will be putting the toilet seat um, so the jigsaw will be for that but I just checked I should be able to use the jigsaw to cut this as well so it's going to be a learning curve it might not go according to plan but I've got to start somewhere and if I don't start experimenting I will go crazy not being in Portugal but if I'm not experimenting I'm never going to perfect it so yeah these are some of my Starbucks mugs that I've collected from my travels So when I move to Portugal, I'll have to have like a special shelf just for Starbucks mugs. It might be an obsession, but I don't think I'll be able to afford to travel like I used to. Okay, so time to get planning.
So with the jigsaw not working, I decided I needed to get a drop, drop saw or um, a mitre saw, so I went online because the shops didn't have them here.
So the mitre saw worked like a charm. I managed to cut all the pieces according to my measurements. Everything is labeled A, B, C, etc. And uh, I'm ready now for the next part of putting these together to create the frame and yeah, starting the screwing process. So let's hope that that goes as smoothly as working with the mitre saw. So please like, comment below and I'll see you for the screwing.